Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. Sorry if there's any background noise, but at the moment I cannot avoid it if there is any. So yes, yeah, sorry for that in advance in case there is some background noise. So yeah, I wanted to share with you all that yes, I'm embarking on a new journey with my diet and that is I am adding in 100 grams of protein, if not more, with my one meal a day that I'm eating on my whole foods, plant-based, vegan diet. And this is something I just felt naturally drawn to do and experiment because, yeah, I just love to experiment. My body's been telling me to do it and I've actually been craving a lot more protein, so I've been naturally going towards it. So now I'm on day four and there's been some days where I've eaten just about 100 grams, so I'm 120 grams plus, but yeah, on average I'm gonna be eating around 100 grams for at least 30 days for this 30 day protein experiment. So I have been taking some video footage of my weight before, measuring my muscle sizes, showing my body as well, and I'm gonna be documenting the whole journey with this. This is gonna be interesting to see what happens with my body and the changes that I notice. But what I say is, even within four days, even three days, should I say, I've noticed that my muscles are fuller and tighter and they just feel so much nicer overall due to them being tighter and fuller. And I even had someone say on my Instagram today, where I posted a photo last night of me at a restaurant, that they're definitely already noticing the changes in my body in the Instagram photo that they looked at. So that was really cool. If you haven't checked out my Instagram, I'll put a link down below for it so you can check that out. I highly recommend you do always post an Instagram post at least once every single day. Normally showing you what I eat, sometimes what I'm training, some videos as well. I also post Instagram stories on a regular basis. And yeah, you may be wondering, where am I getting my protein from? Because so many people think that it's really hard to get protein on a vegan diet, which is just a complete myth. And I want to debunk that in this video and many other videos in the future as well. So what I am currently doing is what I normally do. And I'm going to show you the things. So I'm having a scoop of this protein powder. It was quite bright because of this light. I can't really avoid that completely. It's raw organic sprouted protein powder, no stevia, unflavored. I'm sometimes using the vanilla one because I have that flavor. Um, and one scoop has 22 grams of protein, four grams of BCAAs naturally occurring. It's also enzyme infused and also got naturally occurring probiotics added to it as well. It is just a nutrient powerhouse alongside being a good protein source. I recommend this to anyone, whether you're vegan or not. So yeah, that gives me 22 grams of protein and yeah, I add that into my green fruit smoothie that I add bananas and mango in and a few other different things. I've got the video coming very, very soon because I know so many people are waiting in anticipation for that video, but sorry I haven't got around to it, it's just got a lot of things going on. And I also use a scoop of this organic protein powder that's enzyme infused, it's a pea protein one, and that has 15 grams of protein in, so those two alone give me 37 grams of protein. And then using some of this almond milk, I'm using about a fourth of this, which gives you around 2.5 grams, almost three grams of protein. So those three alone is around 40 grams. And then bananas have, uh, I think, one gram of protein per 100 grams. So yeah, all the fruit and that in there as well bumps it up a bit more. And then I also use this spirulina, not Chinese. Do not buy a Chinese one. They're absolutely garbage, full of radiation, heavy metals, very toxic. And this is one of the only ones I've found in the glass bottle. It's the most highest quality one out there in the world. Not the cheapest, but you get what you pay for. And what we do is put links down below for all of these and there'll be UK, US, and worldwide suppliers that can deliver all of these to your door. And yeah, I actually use one tablespoon, which is nine grams, and that actually gives me an additional six grams. So yeah, the protein smoothie actually has around 50 grams of protein. Well, actually more than that, because I also use this wheatgrass green juice powder, not standard wheatgrass powder, green juice powder. It's a lot more nutrient dense, a lot better for you. Nutrient powerhouse. I don't use this for the protein. I well the protein content to bump it up. I use it because it's just a, an amazing nutrient dense food. And I use 10 grams of that, which gives you where is it? Is around here somewhere. Four grams of protein. So the smoothie alone has over 50 grams of protein. So yeah, that's more than enough. And then what I'm doing is every time I go out and eat cooked food. A tempeh, which is a fermented soy 
product and you can't see it very, very well at all because of this ring light being too bright. 150 grams, which has around 30 grams of protein. So just a smoothie and that, you've got around 84 grams of protein in total. Then I'm having this peanut butter. No oil added to it, none of that palm oil crap. Don't buy it, one percent sea salt, freshly ground, roasted peanuts, never eat raw peanuts due to alpha toxin, it's highly toxic to you. Roasting the peanuts gets rid of that toxic mold. Um, and yeah, let me have a look. I'm having about two tablespoons around that, sometimes more, sometimes less. And where is the protein content on this one? Well, that gives me around an additional 20 grams of protein. So it's a total of over 100 grams of protein so far of all of that. And then I'm eating other foods alongside that at the restaurant. I am obviously ordering multiple different dishes. Normally have rice with it, beans, chickpeas, seeds, all of these other different high protein vegan plant sources. So yeah, as you see, I'm easily getting loads and loads and loads of protein. And so far I'm feeling really good from it. My body's absolutely loving it. And if I start to feel really bad, I'll stop the experiment. But so far it's going really, really good. The only thing that I've noticed that's a negative effect is I'm more dehydrated. But the solution to that is just drink more water. And my digestion is still flawless. It hasn't changed in any way whatsoever. And yeah, I'm excited to go on this 30 day experiment and see what happens. And then I'll maybe do some other different types of experimentation to see if I go down to a lot less for 30 days, seeing if I start to lose some gain. So yeah, I will keep you updated on this journey that I have never ever tried before. And what are your thoughts on me doing this? There's quite a few people that are actually concerned on my Instagram because they say, oh, it's gonna affect your kidneys in a negative way and have a whole host of other negative effects. I think it's more of an issue from what I've looked into and what I know and understand as a health coach, because that is one of my backgrounds of, yeah, profession, should I even say, for helping heal so many people around the world from so many different health issues mentally and physically, is that it's more of an issue when it comes to an excess of animal protein or animal protein in general, especially when you consume things such as whey protein, which is really, really not good for you at all, no matter what diet that you're on. So yeah, I'm not concerned. But yeah, I will monitor myself and make sure that if I notice any bad signs that I do stop this experiment because yeah, anything that's gonna affect my health in a negative way, I need to stop it because my health is my number one priority. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll get back as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up and please share this video with anyone that you think would like to hear about why I'm embarking on this protein experiment for 30 days and maybe they also could learn about some vegan protein sources that they can consume on a whole foods, plant-based vegan diet to really bump up that protein intake to help them get more gains from the training that they are doing and the recovery after the training to actually build and grow the muscles because that is where they actually begin to grow when you're resting and recovering after some intense training. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis where I'm talking about my journey with eating one meal a day. Also sharing with you informational videos on intermittent fasting and one meal a day. I also post quite often videos showing you what I am eating on my one meal a day diet journey on a plant-based vegan diet. Also showing you what I do in a day, calisthenics workout videos, calisthenics progression videos, and all these other different videos to inspire you and motivate you to push yourself in the direction to achieve the body design, the energy levels, and the fitness levels as well. And teach you the information alongside giving you that motivation and inspiration to help you actually go in the direction of achieving those things and sustaining them long term. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you do click that subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. And man, I'm sweating like crazy. It's so hot making videos in this room without any aircon or fan on. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.